Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just thought I'd give you a quick update. I finally snapped on the uh, the red RAM heat sinks and the green light and uh, I totally, I, I ripped it out pretty much. So I ended up putting, there's the MIPS water block with the red uh, heat sinks removed obviously to install that sucker. It matches very well with the, uh, the uh, heat killer uh, acetyl nickel because the uh, MIPS is acetyl, I think it is nickel, I didn't look to see if it's stainless steel or nickel, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, I also unplugged those green lights. I found this, or I was doing my research and reading, and there's this little tiny plug here that uh, is basically just for the LEDs. Obviously I got a few more on the board that are just kind of poking their head up every once in a while. Um, <clears throat> but it's not... Uh, it's not the obtrusive green that was there before and the red is gone. I'm kind of happy about this. This was like bugging me all weekend long. So anyway, that's it. The only other thing I did, and I'm kind of curious as to if I think, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not sure if I might have screwed this up or whatnot. I'll show you what the results are, but what I ended up doing, because I know I'm getting the X79 board when it comes out with the new chip. I'm going to be upgrading in a couple months. so. I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time trying to reconfiguring the water loop and the and the tubing and whatnot. So what I ended up doing is off of the uh, the two MCP 655s, it goes straight into the RAM water block, and then under the RAM water block back into the OW. No, not that that hurt. It just was startling. That's all. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, the coolant single bay, and then out of the coolant single bay, it starts its route back down uh, towards the rads in the back, and then of course back to the CPU, CPU, GPU, you know, back, back, back again to the reservoir. So, um, what I find interesting though is uh, I thought RAM water blocks, maybe this one's just a, a high flow water block, was uh, were fairly restrictive because. When I added the motherboard block um, from my um, Z68 build, it, uh, it it was about 0.24 of a gallon per minute um, uh, cost to have the water block on the motherboard as opposed to not having it on. So now I've installed a RAM waterboard block or a RAM water block instead of the motherboard block because I'm just using the uh, the air cooled or the uh, whatever you call those, the, the non water block version, the, the stock version of cooling. And um, <clears throat> interestingly enough, I am getting doo -doo -doo. I am getting 2.09 to 2.17 gallons per minute on the flow with the RAM water block. And the other thing I'm interested I'm noticing is uh, there's my temps on the uh, 980X, which I find more interesting because my ambient is actually 26 degrees Celsius and I'm seeing, what, five of the six of those roughly? Four of the six of those, whatever a good chunk of them under ambient, which is just impossible. That's not proper. Something's up with that. Not sure what it is. I'm going to have to look into it a bit more. Um, not sure why that's showing the way it is. I mean, this is not overclocked. Everything is stock. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's what the uh, CP, or the real temp GT 3.60 is showing. But uh, I think I'm going to reload that software and make sure I uh, get a more accurate reading because I don't think that's true and proper at all. Uh, and you know what I'll do just to check it out here. Let's. Um, uh, you can probably yeah you can't see that either. But uh, on the CPU hardware, same sort of stuff. 27, 27, 24, 25, 18, 24, approximately and uh, my ambience 26 so eh, I think that's wrong anyway main point of the video very happy with uh, <clears throat> getting rid of the red turning off the green 
and uh, you know I'm letting the water loop do its thing it's uh, been percolating for overnight now and uh, getting all the air out but uh, it's it's plugging along quite nicely and uh, I'm liking it so anyways uh, I'll check you later guys bye for now